Hello, my name is Ray Stabos and I am a Regional Coordinator for 40 Days for Life in Delaware. For two and a half years, 40 Days for Life has occupied Planned Parenthood of Wilmington in order to raise awareness of the tragedy and crisis of abortion. The raw figures are horrific. Each day in the United States, nearly 4,000 developing babies are destroyed. If 4,000 children a day were dying of flu or famine, we would recognize a national health crisis, but we accept the statistics of abortion without a blink. After several campaigns, we have come to realize that the people who patronize the Planned Parenthood abortion clinic in downtown Wilmington feel like they have no other choice. The women and men who make the decision to kill their child are themselves the tragic victims of poverty, hopelessness, and 40 plus years of the breakdown of family and social order in our country. Planned Parenthood represents the end not only of a living child, but an end to the natural innocence and spiritual well-being of the women who choose the worst possible outcome to a seemingly insurmountable problem. The product they think they are buying quick relief from the anxiety of an unwanted pregnancy can quickly turn instead into a numbing of the spirit, a coarsening of the heart, long-term depression, and even despair. If despair is the enemy, then who is the friend? As a Christian community, we know the answer, even if others don't. It is Jesus Christ, our Redeemer, our teacher and our dearest friend. With Christ as our compass, our lives will not get off track. The women who come to Planned Parenthood to abort have no real knowledge of the message of Jesus. That God loves everyone, that our lives are infinitely precious to him, and that he wants to reach out to every one of us, whatever our circumstances are, or however far from him we feel. If we could plunge our broken lives into the ocean of his mercy, what waves of grace might flow forth to heal us all? What hope might flow into our shattered communities? And so, we are expanding the scope of our 40 Days for Life campaign. We don't want to simply occupy Planned Parenthood. We want to help the people of our community to occupy a better life by sharing with them the good news of Jesus Christ. Forget any negative perceptions of pro-life sidewalk activity that you might have. 40 Days for Life is not angry or aggressive. 40 Days for Life is prayer, not protest. Help not harassment, care for the body and the spirit, not criticism. We know that the Planned Parenthood folks are not the enemy. The staff, the escorts, even the abortionists themselves are the victims of a poverty of faith and of hope. They too do not understand that the God who creates every individual human life is able to find his children the means to nourish and provide for it, if only they will let him. Our 40 Days for Life kickoff is just around the corner. We invite you to come to 625 North Shipley Street in Wilmington to kick off our 40 days of fasting, prayer, community outreach, and peaceful presence at the Planned Parenthood Abortion Clinic in Wilmington. Encourage your school, your church, your social group to be there at this exciting kickoff event. If you have a choir or a praise band, come and sing to the glory of God. If you have prayer warriors, come and lift up your hearts and voices. Together, let us ask the grace and blessings of our Lord Jesus Christ on this place of darkness and despair. We will have music, speakers, balloons, and of course, lots of enthusiasm. We would love to have you join us. And after you have come to the kickoff, 
and experienced what it is to be a light of hope in a place of darkness, bring your church down for one or two of the 40 days of prayer and vigil. Bring your spirit to evangelize, bring song and prayer, bring any literature from your church that will help to bring the gospel into downtown Wilmington. And remember, God does not call us to be successful. He calls us to be faithful. We owe it to our community in Delaware. Thank you.